月に変わってお仕置きよ That's right. Today, today we're going to be talking about Sailor Moon. Forget talking about the lesson. Let's talk about all the Japanese we can learn from Sailor Moon. 月に変わってお仕置きよお仕置き means punishment. Ooh. Actually, that's what we're talking about. Um, I do have this awesome shirt. I bought it at Hot Topic. That is the best place to get Japanese anime t shirts. And again, I promise you, I'm not sponsored by anybody. And some of you that live in foreign countries don't know what I'm talking about. Hot Topic is a place that has all this goth, emo, and strangely, people that are into Japanese things have a really great place, great place to get shirts. They cater to what. There's a, there's a negative term called weeaboo that's supposed to mean someone that is so into Japan. That they want to be Japanese. Well, I've never really been that, honestly. And until I started doing these live streams, I never wore shirts like this. I would never have worn an anime shirt. I only started really buying them because I'm like, oh, I can wear this on the stream for you guys. You guys. All right. Like there's Sailor Moon R. There's all sorts of Sailor Moons. You know, do you know there's multiple styles of Sailor Moon? Did you know that? There's not just one? Okay. So. Today, we are continuing down our path. We're actually, you know, if you think about it, this is a path to fluency. It doesn't matter how great you become, you have to know all the stuff that we're talking about. We're in the middle of book three.、Uh, this book, I believe, has 12 or 13 lessons currently.、Uh, 13 lessons right now.、Uh, there is an update coming. Uh, I haven't exactly worked on it. We'll see what, what it be. It could make, make like another lesson be added, maybe. But right now, there's 13 lessons. And we're on lesson five. And in, this is the second video of lesson five. We're going to talk about comparing things. Now, this one is very important. I say that about a lot of grammar. I mean, every grammar is important. But this one is a big grammar. We're going to break it down into two parts and then put them all together, okay? So let's look at some of the new words that we want to learn. Uh, I'm not even sure if these words are in the lesson, but they're important in my examples here in the video. Taiyo, Taiyo, this is the sun. Taiyo, and the moon. Tsuki, Tsuki ni kawatte, o s h i o k i o Tsuki, Tsuki ni kawatte, o s h i o k i o What is she actually saying there? She's saying, Yeah, on behalf of the moon, I will punish you. Or turning into the moon. Tsuki ni kawatte o s h i o Because tsuki ni kawatte could mean two things. It could mean either I'm turning into it or like,、uh, like instead of the moon, I'm doing it. Hmm. I don't know. I have to watch more Sailor Moon, I guess. So tsuki, tsuki means the moon and natsu. Natsu means summer. Fuyu. And if, for some reason, my other word just popped right up. So fuyu means winter and this is kind of big. Dochira. Now, I don't talk a lot about dochira. We talk a little bit in here, but dochira is polite for a lot of koso ado words that we learned. Okay? So dochira is polite for where, which, and who. And by which, I mean both witches. So, for example, it's good for doko, it's good for dochi, it's good for dore, and it can be used for who. Now, typically with who, You'll hear dochira sama, sama gets added on to it. But dochira desu ka could mean which one is it for two items, which one is it for three items or more, and where is it? All of those. So it's, it's important to know it.、Uh, there's a reason why I don't teach it right up front, because then that's all you would use, because it's easier that way. You still need to know dore, dochi, doko,、uh, and dare. You need to know them because they're used all the time. This is just a polite way to say it. Okay? All right. So, the first grammar we're going to learn is yori. Yori is, means than. You could think of it as a particle. It attaches to the thing that is than. Okay? So, A wa B yori, adjective. Okay? Now, it doesn't have to just be adjectives, but we're going to be using adjectives because that's an easy jump off point. And it's common. What it does to the adjectives is it makes the adjective add like an er to it, right? So, if we were saying yori o ki, it would mean bigger. Okay? But really, the, yor the yori is a, it's, it's attached to the B to think about it that way. That's the thing that it's being compared to. So let's look at it. Watashi wa anata yori more than you kawaii desu. I am cuter than you, obviously. I've got a Sailor Moon shirt on. Watashi wa 
あなたより可愛い。Just think about that. That's a fact. We're not. These are facts. I am cuter than you. I mean, you're cute. You can't compare. 私はあなたより可愛いです。So, remember, the rules haven't changed with the grammar here. 私は I am the topic. We're what I'm talking about.、It. What about me? I'm cute. But we're comparing it to something else. あなた。あなたより。Kawaii. More than you, I am cute. Okay?、Um, so, as you know, I speak Korean too. People ask me all the time, which language is more difficult? Kankoku go wa nihongo yori muzukashi des. Kankoku go wa nihongo yori muzukashi des. Korean language? More than Japanese is difficult, right? But remember, that's bad. That doesn't sound like natural English. We have to make natural English. If your Japanese is natural, you want your English to be natural. Okay? We had a little bit of an incident in the last video. Some disgusting things were said. I apologize. I'm not going to say them again. It's very embarrassing.、Uh, so just remember, we want the English to sound as natural as possible, and we want the Japanese to sound as natural as possible. So even though the Japanese sentence is, well,、uh, Korean language, more than Japanese language, is difficult, we're really saying Korean is more difficult than Japanese. Okay. All right. How would you say, now that we know how the rules work, how would you say, the sun is bigger than the moon? And we will give time for people in the live stream to answer. The sun is bigger than the moon. By the way, I want to point out something.、Um, Zero, you said. Ore wa anata no yoru, kako i des. I, your knight. I, your knight. Like as in nighttime. I, your knight, am cool. It makes no sense. You have a typo. And you don't need no. You say anata yori, not anata no yori. That makes no sense also. All right. Sorry about that. Zero. All right. So the answer is tayo wa tsuki yori oki des. And I'm going to give the person who wrote it in Japanese the first credit. That is Zeo, X E O, although other people apparently had it in Romanization. But at this level, you guys should be able to type Japanese. Tayo wa tsuki yori oki desu. Tayo wa tsuki yori oki desu. We're, we're moving right along. How would you say、um, today is colder, was colder, today was colder than yesterday? Today was colder than yesterday. And it was. It's getting very cold in Las Vegas. Some of you think I live in Japan. Just because I'm teaching Japanese doesn't mean I live in Japan. I lived in Japan for nine years. And、uh, I go back every year. I love Japan. I'm going to go back in May. Oh, and by the way, while I'm mentioning this, because this video will be up before this, I'm going to be in Europe in February for like three weeks. I'm going to go to UK and Germany and like the Netherlands. I plan on, I've never done. Anywhere but Germany and France. So I want to hit some of the other places. And I, I have no business agenda except for in the UK, we're doing this Korean、um, event, which has like only a limited amount of seats. So you guys probably couldn't go to it, I don't think. There's like 20 seats.、Uh, and I'm doing that with、uh, a collab with another YouTuber. Uh, but uh, the other times when I'm in the UK and Germany and Netherlands and maybe Denmark, Denmark seems interesting to me.、Uh, I'm going to hang out with you guys. That's really all I'm going to do. I'm going to go there and hang out. And possibly, we might possibly have another Yes Japan staffer with me if he can get the school to let him come. All right, let's see.、Uh, Kyo wa kino yori samui desu. Okay, okay, that means today is colder than, but I wanted to say was colder. And unfortunately, no one got it. No one got it. It's kino wa kino yori samu katta, past tense. It's the end of the day, and I'm saying, hey, man, wow, today was colder than yesterday. I'm not saying today is colder than yesterday. So, you guys were cool. Oh, Evan got it, unless he typed it after I wrote it. Evan got it. Good job. All right, now let's keep going. Now let's look at what we could do with this dochira thing, right? So, dochira ga something, okay? So, we're going to say, which one is bigger, right? Which one is bigger? But we're, we're just going to do a very simple way of saying it. Which one is big is what we're going to say. But it, can, it, it would be understood as which one is bigger. So, for example, if the question was、uh, which one is bigger, it would be simply, どちらが大きいですか 
which is big. But that means which one is bigger in Japanese. Contextually, in natural, not natural, but or, like good sounding Japanese, that's okay. English, if you direct translate it, it's like, which is big, doesn't make a lot of sense. We're saying which one's bigger. But we have to use older grammar that we learned. We need to use or. So we could say, Tayoka ski. The, the sun or the moon, pause. Dochira ga oki desu ka? Dochira ga oki desu ka? So that works. Tayoka tsuki. We've given two choices and then we ask the question. Dochira, out of those items, dochira ga oki desu ka? Okay. We're going to learn this and then we're going to give the answer in a second, okay? Kankoku, kankoku go ka nihongo. Dochira ga muzukashii desu ka? Kankoku go ka nihongo. Korean language or Japanese language? Dochira ga muzukashii desu ka? Which one of those is difficult? Natsu ka fuyu. What does this mean? Natsu ka fuyu. Dochira ga suki desu ka? I changed it up. Natsu ka fuyu. Dochira ga suki desu ka? Summer or winter? Which one do you like? This is a very good grammar. By the way, we don't put this in the book. It's not in the book. It should be. And in an update, I'll probably add it because it's a really great thing. You're giving two items and you're asking about that item. And it would reuse dochira in the book. It's a very good grammar to know. All right. Now, how would you say today or yesterday, which one was colder? And I'll wait for the stream. And I'll give you time to think about it. I don't know what you wrote, Cesari. Jichira? What's Jichira? I don't even, don't know what Jichira means. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Wanchui? Yes. That also works, but that's a different grammar. It means if you compare the moon. We're not doing that right now. We're just saying moon or sun or today or yesterday. So, Perfect. That's it. Now remember, there are many ways to do similar grammar and to say the same thing. This is, we're just doing one way and we're using very simple grammar to do it. Later on, we can do what other people were doing here in the chat room. They were using verbs that we don't know yet. Kudaberu to compare. We don't know that. These are comparing without even saying the word compare. All right. All right. So, we haven't answered the question yet, but now we're going to be able to answer the question. No hoga, a no hoga adjective, okay? A no hoga adjective. A is more this thing, okay? So if I want to just say, after a question, who is cuter? I want to say, I'm cuter. No yori needs to be involved here because I'm not comparing myself to anything. I'm comparing myself to the other person we were already talking about that's already been in, in, in the discussion. I'm just saying, I'm cuter. I'm cuter. How do you say that? Watashi no hoga kawaii desu. Compared to who we were talking about earlier. Watashi no hoga kawaii desu. Right? Maybe we're just looking at a picture of a girl and she has a Sailor Moon uniform on, which is cute, but Watashi no hoga kawaii desu. Watashi no hoga kawaii. I'm cuter. All right. How would you say? Someone says, well, well, out of Japanese and Korean, that question that we just asked, which one is more difficult? My answer is Korean is more difficult. Kankoku go no ho ga muzukashi desu. Kankoku go no ho ga muzukashi desu. You could say kankoku go ga muzukashi desu, right? Korean is difficult, but it doesn't, it's not good sounding. The question was, now by the way, for for those of you that have studied other where, other places or have heard of it, you might hear also dochira no hoga, which one is more using dochira no hoga kawaii for example. Like for example, anata ka watashi. Dochira, well, let's let's do it with uh let's do it with the moon example. So you could say uh tsuki ka taiyo. Tsuki ka taiyo. Dochira no hoga oki desu ka? It would be, you can, the no hoga can be in there. Okay. We didn't have it in there because we didn't know no hoga yet, but it could be in there. 
and then you're just answering the same pattern back. So uh, let's go with that. Which one is bigger out of the sun and the moon? Taiyo no ho ga ooki desu. Taiyo no ho ga ooki desu. See, this, this isn't hard, right? Now, the, the hard part is yori ooki means bigger and so does no ho ga ooki. Okay? We're going to look at them combined in a second to see how they're different. Because okay, they're not the same. If I said, if I said here, Taiyo yori oki, now now the the sun is the smaller one. It's bigger than the sun now. It's than. Taiyo yori oki means bigger than the sun. But if I said Taiyo no hoga oki, now it's the sun is bigger. Do you see how that works? That's the key difference. When you say yori, you have a than in there, and that makes it the lesser of the things that you're talking about. Okay. All right. How would you say yesterday was colder? Yesterday was colder. Kino no ho ga samukatta desu. How would you say it was colder than yesterday? That would be kino yori samukatta desu. Okay. You might have to practice these sentences a couple of times because yori is completely different. If you had like a if you had like a, a greater than sign, the yori item is here, right? And the nohoga, which when you use nohoga, it's the item over here, okay? The order is the same though, right? The thing that is bigger is nohoga. And the thing that you're comparing it to that's smaller is yori, okay? Now we're going to do it all together. I'll show you how that works. Because you don't have to say that. We just showed, I just showed you that you can use yori all by yourself, all by itself, and you can use nohoga all by itself. Now, typically when you do that, you've already had a conversation, right? You're already in the middle of a conversation. You're saying, well, it's more than this, or uh, compared to that, it's this. And you're, you're answering questions. You're like, hey, is that delicious? Mm. Mm. Starbucks yori oishi. It's better than Starbucks. It's more delicious than Starbucks. Or I might say, Starbucks no hoga oishi. Starbucks tastes better. So that works. Same exact order. The only difference is yori is there or nohoga is there. Now we're going to combine them, okay? We're going to do A yori, B nohoga, this. More than A, B is this. So B is bigger than A. Now we're going to have both of the items in the sentence. Now we had a similar sentence with A, wa, right? But when we said A, wa, B yori, you see the yori was here. A is bigger than is what that was. Now we're doing a yori, b no hoga. More than a, b is adjective or whatever. It could be anything. It can be other things there than just an adjective. So let's look at it. Tsuki yori, taiyo no hoga, toi desu. I changed up the adjective. Tsuki yori, taiyo no hoga, toi desu. We're comparing. What are we comparing? How far it is. Well, more than the moon, the sun out of these two, no hole. This hole, by the way, we don't know it, but it's it's direction. The direct, it, it's not really direction, but it's like, out of the two, I'm pointing to that one. All right, taiyo no ho ga toi. The sun is farther than the moon. The sun is farther than the moon, okay? I could have said, taiyo wa tsuki yori toi desu. Could have said that too, and it would have meant the same thing. Tsuki yori taiyo no ho ga toi desu, all right? How would you say, um, Chinese? I think Chinese is more difficult than Japanese. I think Chinese is more difficult than Japanese. See, now we're not mid-conversation. I'm saying something out of the blue. You know, I was thinking this the other day, but I think Chinese is more difficult than Japanese. Nihongo yori chugoku go no hou ga Look at all that grammar we're combining. If you if you can say this, it feels nice, right? Like, it's very nice. Very big, long sentence. Only in like 60 videos. Hopefully you got this far. All right. Now this one's a little bit weird maybe for us. Let's look at it. What does this mean? Look at that. I'll give you a second.
I see that some of you did get the last sentence right. There's a delay, so you guys give me the answer. I'm already on the next question. Uh, but I see a lot of you, a lot of you got it right, and I'm very, very happy. Uh, uh, Chui-san, you said yori muzukashi, but remember I said think. So muzukashi to omoimasu was better. If you said nihongo yori chugoku go no hoga muzukashi desu, then you're, you're making it like it's a fact. Like, well, more than Japanese. Chinese is difficult, right? Chinese is more difficult than Japanese. But we're saying muzukashi to was I think. And remember, Japanese don't like to say direct things. They like to use to omo a lot. They like to be very indirect and fuzzy. When, you, when you've when you lived in Japan long enough, you'll know that Japanese, it's hard to get direct answers out of some Japanese people. Not all of them. Some of them are direct. But many of them are very, that's why they say things like, mm, I don't dislike it. I don't like it. Like, what does that mean? They also have this phrase they'll say, they'll say, Well, if you say it's hot, it's hot. I mean, that's above this level. But they'll say things like, what does that mean? Like, hey, is, is it, how's the weather? Well, if you say it's hot, I guess it's hot. That's like not an answer, right? They don't want to say it's hot. Because what if you go outside and you're like, dude, it's freaking cold. Well, you know. So when they say that, when they say, eba, we don't know this yet, but eba, I always say, well, eba, samuin desu ka? If I say it's cold, is it cold? Ha 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 ha. That's what they always do. All right, so this means Honda no kuruma yori, right? More than a Honda car. Toyota no kuruma no ho ga, Toyota cars are expensive. Now, that is probably a fact if I said it that way, right? It might be, I could have said takai to omoimasu to say, um, you know, I think they're more expensive, but in reality, I think. Toyota cars are more expensive. Um, it's probably true. I don't know. But le- for this example, let's assume that that's true. So, Honda no kuruma yori, in, when comparing to Honda cars, right? Honda, uh, Toyota no kuruma no hoga takai desu. Toyota cars are more expensive. All right. All right. I believe this is the last one. And it's going to be related to this video because I know, look, I know that if you've been following the entire video series, it's getting a little bit more difficult. If you haven't reviewed enough, or if you don't have the following concept, if you, this isn't one of those concepts that you just immediately pick it up, you have to practice this one. So this sentence here is gonna relay that emotion to you. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna give you the answer. I want you to post the answer in the YouTube comment of this video. We'll see how many of you post it. People will be like, what do you, they won't even know what you're talking about. All right, but post the translation in the video below. Kyo no video wa yori, kyo no video yori, ototoi no video no ho ga kantan datta. Kyo no video yori, ototoi no video no ho ga kantan datta. All right, that is it. I'll give you a couple more seconds for those of you that are, free. you can pause the video, pause the video and write it out. Uh, thanks for watching Japanese from Zero. If you'd like to learn more Japanese, we have currently four books and a fifth one coming soon. And we have we have this kanji book for those of you that are beyond uh, book three or four. You can get into the kanji. And if you're done with Japanese, we have Korean books. You can also go to koreanfromzero.com if you want to learn Korean. Completely free right now. All courses are for free. You can even download the book. Pretty cool, right? Um, or you can go to yesjapan.com. And you can uh, do the course completely for free. Just sign up. It's completely free. All right. I'm not even trying to sell you anything. Wow. All right. We'll see you all momentarily. We're going to be doing an Ask a Teacher. That will be the last video for today. I'll see you then. What shirt's he going to wear then? Nobody knows. See you then. Jane.